What's up, Brian Tong here, and welcome to Googleicious for everything Google you can think of. And the top story may not sound all that sexy, but the February security patch is rolling out for Pixel and Nexus devices with full download and over-the-air links available for you to get right now. Now, the Pixel 2 line is getting some nice updates with this patch, including improved Bluetooth call quality, improved camera performance in certain light conditions for what's already the best camera phone on planet Earth right now, there's also improved Wi-Fi uplink performance and even improved battery performance for some Pixel 2 XL devices. That sounds like a good goal to me. Now, another win for Pixel 2 fans, the Googs is enabling its custom image processing chip for third-party apps, starting with Instagram, Snapchat, and WhatsApp. Your camera now just got a whole lot better for some of your favorite apps. It also allows these apps to take advantage of the same computational photography and machine learning that powers the Pixel 2's HDR Plus functionality. Now, these pictures show images on the left that don't use the Pixel visual core, while images on the right do with HDR Plus in action. And you know what? I have to say congratulations to all the Philadelphia Eagles fans out there. Fly, Eagles, fly. And Patriots fans, I'm sorry, but after escaping with Super Bowl wins against the Seahawks and Falcons, uh, you were due. And on behalf of the Niner faithful, we thank you for Jimmy GQ. But what does this have to do with anything? Well, nothing really, but if you watch the Super Bowl for the TV commercials, YouTube has put all of them in one place right here at this link. Like, it's totally worth checking out, including those awesome Tide commercials, and yes, Infinity War, baby. Now, I also know we have Apple users who watch the show. The YouTube TV app, their own TV streaming service, is now available for the fourth generation Apple TV and Apple TV 4K. A Roku version of the app is out as well. And on Apple TV, YouTube TV costs $39.99 a month versus the normal $35 because of course it does, offering 52 channels, the big four broadcast networks, and a few other cable channels. And the Google Voice app, it's finally been updated to support the iPhone X's new screen resolution while squashing some bugs and improving the overall performance. So get that update if you use the service. All right, let's go to phones and HTC's next flagship phone, the U12, allegedly leaked out at a 5G event where the unannounced phone was on display for everyone to see. Now, there isn't much info about this phone. There's no branding or marking, but this is believed to be the U12 with its rumored 5.7 inch screen. You can see slim bezels around the edges, and the fact that it's pulling near gigabit speeds is another tip off that it's likely using Qualcomm's 5G capable Snapdragon 845 chipset with an X20 LTE modem designed to get speed results like this. And the OnePlus is back at it again after teasing us with a Star Wars edition of the 5T that you could only get in India a few months ago. Well, now they're looking out for us and delivering the Lava Red edition of the 5T to the US and Europe right before Valentine's Day. Now their commercial also includes some amazing acting by Emily Ratatouille. <laughs> Who wouldn't want the best smartphone of the year? That's amazing. Now, we talked about everything we know about the Samsung Galaxy S9 up to this point in last week's show, but Evan Blass is back at it again, releasing images of the front, the back, and the sides of the new Galaxy S9 in one of its new colors, lilac purple. Say it with me. Ooh. Ah, yeah. Blast says the launch colors we can expect are midnight black, titanium gray, coral blue, and this new lilac purple color. All right, that's going to do it for this week. You can email us at googleicious at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you all next time for some more of that Googleicious.